Hey everyone, welcome. Today I'm going to show you on how to configure multiple domains on your Synology slash Xpenology build. So multiple websites on the same system. It's not that hard to configure, but there are a few settings um, you need to configure uh, for it to work. And I'm going to show you on how to do that. Um, first of all, we're going to install a few components. Um, you just open the package center. The first component we're going to install is uh, the web station. It's the app uh, we need for actually running websites on the Synology NAS. Just scroll down till you see web station from Synology and click install. Okay. So once that's done, we're going to install the Apache web server. And we're going with the version 2.4 in this case. Just click install. Yes, also successfully installed. And the last package we're going to install now is uh, PHP. And we're going with version 7.0. Also just click install. What I'm not going to cover in this uh, short video is uh, on how to port forward your domains through your router to your NAS system. I assume you already have configured that. So um, for this test, I will use domain 1.local and domain 2.local. Made some DNS forwards for that. Um, as for testing in this video, as I mentioned. Um, so yeah, that's that. Uh, what we want to do now is uh, go to the app launcher and go to web station. Default server status normal, personal website status is disabled. So if I create any users on this NAS, uh, they won't be allowed uh, having a personal web page. And so that's fine. Um, Apache web server is installed and PHP 7 also installed. If you go over to general settings, um, I set it up for use with HTTP server of Apache and PHP version 7.0. If you go to PHP settings, um, depending on what, you, what content you uh, are going to run on your website, uh, some of these features need to be enabled. For this video, we're not going into this. Um, so we go to the last step. It's a virtual host, and this is something we need to configure for running multiple websites on a NAS system. Here we create the paths for the multiple domains we want to use. Just click create, and we're going to make a path for um, domain one.local, in my case. Actually, this is going to be your website, of course. Um, host name, in my case, as I said, domain one.local on port 80. And the document root, uh, here we click on browse. While we installed the web station, it also created this web folder for us. You go to web, you click on create folder. And we call this one domain one. Very simple. Click on OK. And you click select. The HTTP backend server will be Apache. And PHP version, of course, 7.0. Then you can click on OK. To create this virtual host, the HTTP group requires read permission for the folder and its parents folder. Click OK, automatically update permissions and continue. So you can click on yes. It will now automatically update um, the permissions for the folder settings as it says. And we create the same thing for the domain 2.local. So hostname for that in my case is domain 2.local. Document root, click on browse. Click on web, click on create folder, and that will be domain two. Click select, HTTP backend 2.4 and PHP 7, click on OK. So now we're going to test our web server. Just open up a new tab and we go to HTTP. Okay, so the web server works. Uh, this is the IP address of my NAS. 
and it's the bare metal setup I also used for the uh, Feed the Beast Infinity server uh, video. And what we want to do now is just go to HTTP and then domain one dot local and it says forbidden and this is because there is no document uh, or PHP file in this folder so we're going to copy a few files over and uh, test it again I use FileZilla, you could also use your, your own uh, tools of course or Windows Explorer for the matter gonna open up FileZilla, yes don't want to update right now our host is 192.168.1.222 username and that will be me password and port setting 21 okay and it is connected and then we go to the web folder we go to domain one and i already had a few files on my desktop and let's see domain one we have an index.php for domain one then we go back we go to domain two and i also have a index.php for domain two uh, just drag them over to the right side and once you're done you can just close up filezilla now we go back to uh, edge and we try again with domain one dot local and what do you know that works test page for domain one just a simple page nothing fancy and domain two dot local although it's for domain two and not for domain one of course so yeah there you have it a short video just on how to configure multiple websites uh, on your Synology NAS as I mentioned before it's no rocket science but it's quite handy if you want to run multiple websites on your Synology NAS this is the way to do it also you can make use of more plugins of course and other services so yeah um, here you have it if you like this video please give a thumbs up if you have any comments or suggestions please leave them in the comment section Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.